Uh, it's such a great feeling to be here in Bonn. Um, I, I've been to Germany many times. I've never been to this area. Um, it, it's always it's such a nice experience to be able to uh, to get that sort of love from people. And uh, if anyone if anyone is not receptive to that, they should stop being an actor because it's the best part of it. It really is great. Which area have you seen from Germany so far? Uh, I've been I've been all over Germany. I've been to uh, Munich, to Hamburg to Berlin. Uh, I've, I'm a big art collector, so I went to the Bonn Art Museum yesterday. Uh, it was great. Uh, August Macca is amazing. Um, uh, I've drank in Berlin. I've never been to museums there. Berlin's the best nightlife probably in the world. It's so fun. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. So, uh, but did you live here? Uh, maybe, maybe for a longer time? Uh, you just no, I've only visited. I lived in England for six years. Um, so I used to come to Germany all the time, and also uh, back in the day, I'm so old, German MTV used to be in Hamburg. So every time you had a movie out, you would go there and do like a press tour. Great. Yeah. Um, talking about the movie, so is there any movie that you want to pick that is maybe uh, yeah, combined with very good memories? Uh, all the movies that you do sort of have, they're like sort of like a, a yearbook, like a photo book of your life. Because you look at them and you think, oh, that's what I looked like back then. Or you think, uh, you know, I was really hungover that day or like this happened. I, I, I rarely watch them for the joy of watching them because it's like being in, seeing yourself on screen is like hearing your voice on an answering machine, but like in surround sound, like it's horrifying. So no one really likes to watch themselves. Um, as far as movies that have really special memories for me, Hustle and Flow, Road Trip was my first movie, so that was a, it was a, a really important moment in my life. I was, in, I was working as a uh, paralegal in a law firm, the kind of law firm where you're, where you're, when you're in an accident, and they're like, have you been injured in an accident? Call us. So, and it was terrible, I hated it. And then when I, uh, I became an actor right after that, six months later I was on The Tonight Show, so it was very fast. Uh, yeah, things go wrong all the time. Let me think. Oh, I, ha I have a memory from Road Trip. So in, in the movie Road Trip, there's a car explodes right behind us. And uh, we, were, we were about sort of 30 yards away from the exploding car, and it really exploded. This was before CGI. And uh, I was so nervous. We were losing daylight, so they had to go really fast, so they didn't tell us how hot it was going to be. So the car blows up right behind us, and I... This was, this was cut from the film, but originally I turn around and I have to fall backwards. I, I faint, I pass out. And I got up and the back of my hair was crunchy. Like it was so hot on my neck. And so I started freaking out. I was like, you've singed off all my hair. My hair's been burned. And then a stunt guy comes over and goes, yeah, dude, you got some leaves in your hair. So I had some like autumn leaves in my hair. I thought my hair was on fire. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. And maybe some memories from your horror movie? Some what? Um, I really haven't done any horror movies. I, uh, oh, I did a movie, oh, it's kind of sad though, I did a movie with Brittany Murphy. We probably don't want to talk about that. She, I mean, she's dead. So, it's not so, it's not such a great question, I guess. Okay, but, um, because we are in the horror convention right now, yeah. um, did, you, did you know or did you have an idea why so many people now are attracted to horror movies and horror series? Maybe, maybe so many girls you see uh, dressed up in cool costumes, celebrating horror films? Um, well, horror movies have sort of been a staple since the very beginning. I mean, uh, early silent films. I mean, people love to be afraid. Um, it's, I mean, it's sort of the best thing ever to be afraid. I, I love the adrenaline you get by going to a horror movie. Um, I, I mean, I, when I was a little boy, my mother and I are not, my mother was very young when I was born, so she thought I was her friend. So she showed me The Exorcist when I was eight years old. I was afraid to take a bath until I was like 12. Um, it was like, yeah, it really sort of traumatized me, but I, but I loved it. The thrill of it is sort of addicting, um, so I still watch them to this day. The Saw movies, though, things that are, I like things that are suspenseful. I like, you know, you know, the sound when something jumps out at you. I love that. The Nightmare on Elm Street movies, the originals, I really loved a lot as a child. Um, but the ones that I sort of don't like are the Saw movies, the graphic ones, where it's just like a bunch of mutilation. I can't watch them. It's like watching an autopsy. How did you celebrate uh, Halloween this year? You probably know 
<laughs> um, at, every year for Halloween, all of our friends, we go as e each other. So this year, I'm going as an actor named Ty Olson, who is on Supernatural. He's my best friend, so I'm going. He went, he went as me last year. Um, we really don't do, like, scary things, unless you think getting really drunk and throwing up is scary, which is, I mean, can be scary. So we'll do that this year. Oh, we went to a haunted house, though. I was doing a convention in New Zealand several years ago, and it's supposedly the world's scariest haunted house is outside of, uh, is outside of Auckland. And we went there, and one of our, the actors, his name is A.J. Buckley. He was on CSI New York. He was with me. And he, a, ch a, ch a clown with a chainsaw ran after him, and he broke his ankle. And so the next day, the front page news was Hollywood star injured in chainsaw clown attack. The best headline ever. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.